Manchester United transfer news then. So Manchester United are looking to sign a number of top, top talent this season, this off-season, ready for the brand new season to start. Now, we real, realistically, we want to get our transfers in early and Manchester United have been linked with a whole host of players. I'm just going to give my thoughts on some of them that we've been linked with and just see what, I, I mean, what happens, to be honest. Uh, there's a number of exciting players that Manchester United have been linked with, but we probably won't end up with any of them. Now, where, where do you start? I mean, we've been linked with a number of attacking options and defensive options, as well as some in midfield. Now, we've got a number of, we've got six attacking options at Manchester United already, and the attacking options that we're being linked with today is Felix, however you pronounce it, of Benfica, who scored a lot of goals this season and created a number of goals for Benfica in their title winning campaign, only 19 years of age. A very, very good attacking player. He's been dubbed the new Cristiano Ronaldo by some people, which is crazy to think, but he's performing at a very, very high level, yet to make his Portuguese debut, but a player that I would love to see come to Manchester United. It's rumored that Manchester United are preparing a 100 million euro bid for the Portuguese youngster. Whether this is true or not, I don't know, but. Also, Atletico Madrid are interested. The other week it was reported that Manchester City were closing in on him. If he has the chance to go to Manchester United, Atletico Madrid or Manchester City, he's going to pick one of them to over Manchester United, it is most likely. But it's whether Atletico Madrid could pay the amount of money they want. Yes, Griezmann is leaving, but they don't usually pay that real high price for players. But we would have to wait and see. But a player that I would definitely, definitely would, would consider taking at Manchester United most definitely in the attacking areas. Now, other attacking options that Manchester United have been linked with in this past couple of weeks, Nicolas Pepe at Lille, player playing in the French League, scored, I think, 20, over 20 league goals for them this season. I think he's going to be 24 by the start of next season, so ready to hit his prime years if he was to be signed by Manchester United. And I think the manager has come out today and said that he will be leaving Lille in the summer and all the top clubs in Europe are interested in him and Manchester United definitely going to be in the market for another attacking player so he scored a number of goals this season and I saw the goal he scored yesterday it was a very very good goal looks a very decent player I think I don't think I spoke about him before on the channel but a very very decent player and if he comes to Manchester United I'll be very happy I just don't see that the the Felix or maybe Pepe is probably more realistic than the than the Benfica man. I think the Benfica man will probably go to a to a Man City or somewhere like that. But I, I mean, it is silly season, so whatever happens happens. But I think Manchester United will probably go for lesser names than these players. But Pepe would be more realistic, I think, for Manchester United. Now the unrealistic attacking option that keeps popping up has been Jadon Sancho and. The BBC reported that it is now 50-50 whether Manchester United will sign the man. And when Manchester United looked, when they had the revival under Solskjaer to be back on track to get in the Champions League spots, it was they were reporting that it was nailed on that Manchester United would sign him. But he doesn't want to drop away from Champions League football to sign for Manchester United this summer. But a crazy goal and assist return from Sancho this season has seen him being taught as a £100 million player. A player who I would definitely have liked to see Manchester United sign, but this one seems very unrealistic, more unrealistic now than the needs of the other two. If I was to say which one I would think Manchester United would get would be Pepe out of the three three options for Manchester United. Now, we've seen a whole host of other players linked to Manchester United in, in the defensive areas as well as midfield, but the, the last few days it's been been mainly defenders that have been been taught for Manchester United. Now, the BBC are reporting that Juan Basaka, who the centre the centre half and right back of the main positions that Manchester United need to, to be be signing. Now, Juan Basaka is being taught as a potential move to Manchester United or Manchester City. But really, why would you come to us over Manchester City? And if Manchester City do want him, I'm afraid they're going to get him. It is reported that Crystal Palace are willing to sell him for 60 odd million pounds, which is a lot of money. But he is the best defensive right back in the Premier League and would slot straight in ahead of Ashley Young. Got to get him done. I'm not sure if we're going to get him done or not. But out of the two, he will go to Manchester City for sure. Now, the two centre halves that are on the agenda at the moment, Delet. Now, I don't know why this one has come back in, into being linked with Manchester United. He's been linked with Liverpool. Now getting linked with Manchester City today as well and been heavily linked with Barcelona. 
He's pretty much going to go to Barcelona. We're pretty much sure of that. I can't see anything other than that. But for some reason, he's saying that Manchester United could be a project that he's looking to, to get into. I just I just don't believe this. If I was rating this one, it would be like 1 or 2 out of 10. I can't see this happening unless Manchester United go and sign another 2 or 3 world-class players in other positions. Then I, can't, I just can't see this happening because then that would probably bolster his chan the chances. And he might think, hang on a minute, they're, they're going places, they're signing world-class players. But... I can't see this one happening. I really can't. The other centre-half is still Kalidou Koulibaly. Now, the BBC were reporting that Kalidou Koulibaly is someone that Manchester United love, but the price is too much for Manchester United. And they're probably going to... St well, I presume they're going to stick clear of it with about 100 million to 120 million euros, which is probably too much. But he is a world-class centre-half that he's very experienced that would slot right into there and he's one that I did say I wanted to come to Manchester United because he's a lot more realistic than the Dillette one and I, I, I'm not so sure if we're going to get him but he would definitely be a man that I could see coming to Manchester United and performing very, very well. He would be more realistic than, than the Dillette one but more realistic options for Manchester United would be Harry Maguire or Toby Alderweireld which are less than a bit lesser names for me than them two. I think they would be better options than than Harry Maguire and Alderweireld. But we will just have to wait and see. The other options we're being linked with are real signings that just don't really excite the fans. Longstaff of Newcastle, a midfield player, haven't seen him play. Played about eight times for Newcastle last season, so not really exciting me there. And the other one is Daniel James from Swansea, who got about four goals and about six or seven assists for Swansea last season. I did watch him on YouTube, a very, very fast player for Swansea, but would he even get into the Manchester United team at the state he is now? And I'm unclear on that. He's 21 years of age and has got a worse goals return than Marcus Rashford and Anthony Martial, who get a number of people criticising them. So I, I just don't think that would be a plus if Manchester United signed him, but I do believe that that is a signing that could well happen. The talk is in the region of £15 million for him. And I do think that that could definitely happen. And that's my thoughts on the transfers we're being linked with. If there is any breaking news, I will react to it here on the channel. But at this moment in time, it's all just speculation for Manchester United. There are obviously links with other players, but they're the strong, probably the strongest links of players that Manchester United are being linked with at this moment in time. There are a couple of others, but they're maybe not, not so much strongly linked with Manchester United as these. Anyway, like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and let me know in the comments section below who you think Manchester United should sign. Is it anyone else besides these players? There's a whole host of players out there that we could potentially sign. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll talk to you all again soon. See ya.